so we are discussing about the voice or admin panel so we have already completed few topics uh, like installation configuration and how to use the routing how to use the media manager and how to use the menu builder okay so like this and today most interesting thing how to manage database from the voice or admin panel so we don't need to go directly to the php my admin section or database section so we can manage all these things from here right so how we can do this suppose i have to create a crew application so we need to create a model we need to create a table and we need to create a controller and we can display this right so all the long steps but here we can simply create a table from here suppose i need to create a table so the table name is product table okay so before that suppose if we just go inside the post so just go inside the post so just click on view and we can see all the things that is inside the post the field name the type and the null or key the default extra all those things right just like a php my admin so say here we will create a table suppose my table name is products so how we can do this so here simply write the table name products right so this is the table name so no doubt on this and we have an id that is the default column and it is always primary key good and next to create a new column so simply write a add new column and my column name is name so we'll add the product name here and simply we can see the data type so if you just click on this so just write use bracket right so this is the bracket and 255 okay and create another suppose the product description so simply write here dsc okay and i am using this description as a long text so just write here the long text and the next things i need to add suppose the product image so right here image and here the type will be the packer we can write here the packer also and also provide the length and i don't need anything so i want to add the timestamp so just simply add this so that we can create the create that and update it okay so so all the tables are ready now just click on this create new table and a new table is created so where is the product table so i just created the product table so we can see in the top that is the product table okay so if we just click on this we can see all those things and the interesting thing is if we just go inside the database and just refresh this so here we can see also the product table and there is nothing inside here but the same column okay so that is the most interesting thing right so we can handle the database from inside the ui so now you need to think about these things how we easily can manage database from this here right so this is simple database managing system for browser so if you check here the table name so all the table names will find inside this right so we can manage all this from here so if we just click on view we can see all these things and we can delete or we can edit and we can add a bread so we'll use this bread how to use the bread means how to create a crude application so here bread for the um, browse read edit add delete so we'll discuss on this how to create a bread on the next topic so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day i am going to show you these things how we can use the bread builder please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day